What does it mean to become a black belt? To some people, it's the end of a long journey. To others, it's only the beginning. In today's video, I want to share eight highlights from a recent black belt grading so that you can see what it takes to become a black belt right here. Now, I know that in many places, young kids can actually become black belts. But in my dojo, the age limit is 16. And what you're about to witness is a 16 year old boy and girl fighting for their lives to sum up years of experience and try to express it to the best of their abilities to hopefully earn that shiny new black belt. Before I show you these eight highlights from the black belt grading, Please keep in mind that these are just a couple of snapshots from a whole day's grading, many hours of training and practicing all the way from the morning to the afternoon. The reason I picked out these specific moments is to show you how diverse and wide-ranging karate can actually be. Now let's jump right into it. When you go for a black belt grading at my dojo, you have to show everything all the way from the yellow belt techniques to the black belt techniques. And one of the first things that you need to learn is self-defense, especially on the ground, because you don't want to end up on the ground when you're out on the street. These are a couple of self-defense moves that you have to execute when someone's trying to hold you down and beat you up. As you can see, it's not just the black belt candidates, but a couple of other young teenagers as well who are trying for other belts. The next part I want to show you is called Sampo Kuzushi, which literally means three methods of breaking somebody's balance which of course relies on understanding how to manipulate their center of gravity to take them down and pin them to the ground and then finish off with a joint lock. Next up, we have a kata. Now naturally, there are many katas in karate, but this particular one is known as sanchin, and it's a body strengthening and conditioning kata known for its holistic properties and breathing mechanics. And if you look closely, you'll see my mom, who's the head sensei in the dojo, actually testing their physical capacity by poking and slapping around. Number four is what we call Gyaku Dori, which means that it's wrist escapes and reversals from somebody grabbing you. So you try to defend yourself, but also make that into a counter wrist lock, take them down and control them. Because karate is much more than just punching, kicking and blocking. This is one of the hardest things in karate and one of the most dangerous ones too. Tanto Dori, which literally means how to escape and grab a hold of somebody who attacks you with a knife. As you can see, it's just a practice knife made out of wood. And of course, in real life, if you're ever attacked, you should always try to escape. These techniques are for when you cannot escape and somehow need to defend yourself, even if the attacker doesn't accept your money, wallet and keys. As part of the black belt grading, you also have to master some of the old ancient weapons of Okinawa, also known as Kobudo. In this case, you're watching a demonstration of the first Bokata, the staff. A black belt grading wouldn't be complete without some fighting, also known as kumite in Japanese. And the way we fight in my dojo is a little bit different from modern sports-based schools because you're actually allowed to grab, choke, do joint locks, takedowns, knee techniques, headbutts, elbows, and anything else you can imagine that you would need to use in a real fight to defend yourself. The fight lasts for over half an hour and the point is not to look like a world champion, but to never give up, because that is the karate spirit. Last but not least, the final part of the grading that I want to show you is a classical one, Tameshiwari, which of course is how you break bricks and boards. And this is a true test of your character, because there is no guarantee that you're gonna break the board on your first try, not even your second try, or third try. Breaking a board is not so much about smashing through wood, 
as it is about smashing through your own insecurities. Because at the other side of that board lies your black belt. Awesome! Now that you've seen a little bit about what it takes to become a black belt in my school, maybe you can leave a comment and tell me what it takes to become a black belt in your school. I would love to know so we can compare and share notes. Leave a comment and let me know. And remember, a black belt is not the end, it's the very beginning.